Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about Veronique Gabay's fragrance line and obviously I chose this topic out of complete selflessness. I do not have the entire line for sale on my website now. Uh, it is a steep price tag but it's a good discount when you think about it. Uh, so check it out right there. But other than that, let's get into it. So the interesting thing about Veronica Gabay is that after a successful career as an executive at Estee Lauder, Gabay left the corporate world to pursue her passion and create a brand that reflects her love for French culture and the enchanting Côte d'Azur. And apologies for messing up all those names already. Uh, you know, you'll just have to get over it. Just deal with it, okay? And with that being said, you know, you need to know that Veronique Gabay's collection features nine unique scents, each with its own distinct character. First off, here we have Lumiere Diris. This is basically a, um, a luminous and elegant fragrance that blends powdery iris with a touch of woods and musk, capturing the soft glow of the Mediterranean sunlight. Here we go, next one up is Mimosa in the air. And again, hard to see, but trust me, this is it. It's a cheerful floral scent this time that evokes a fresh, airy aroma of, you guessed it, Mimosa flowers in the bloom. And it's basically trying to transport you into a sunny garden along the Côte d'Azur. Vert d'Azur is a crisp green fragrance, even though it doesn't look green, it does smell like, yep. Definitely a grassy, gra I love grassy scents. It has something uh, really soothing to the mind, I think. But anyway, this is a crisp green fragrance that celebrates the rejuvenating power of nature with the notes of, like I said, fresh cut grass, herbs, and earthy vetiver. This is Vert Desir. Here we have Cap de Antibase. Cap de Antibase. I'll put the name into the video so you can read it for yourself. But this is basically a maritime inspired scent that combines the refreshing aroma of the sea spray and the warmth of the sun drenched woods that you might find along the beach. Reminiscent of a luxurious day spent on the French Riviera. Really makes me miss Europe. <laughs> Jasmine de Minuit, a sensual, captivating fragrance that blends the intoxicating scent of night blooming jasmines, they, they bloom at night, uh, with hints of exotic spices. And this really evokes the mysterious allure of a moonlit Mediterranean garden. Isn't that a beautiful picture that this paints? And I think this is, I mean, on the woman, this is probably one of my favorites, to be honest with you. Here we have one that's called Sur la Plange. Plunge? <laughs> Sur la Plange. Uh, this is a sun-soaked fragrance that transports you into really the beach right away. Very light, you know, with the notes of a sun-warmed sand, however that came to be, and uh, some marina quartz as well, and a touch of tropical fruit. Souvenirs de Tunisie is a very dark color, and that's probably because of the spicy amber notes that it has, which also is really nice, actually. It's uh, it's an oriental scent that captures uh, the essence of Tunisia, I guess, with the warm, like I said, spicy notes of amber, saffron, and a hint of sweet orange blossom. A very nice combination. Sexy Garange. This is a very playful and seductive fragrance, which is inspired by the dry and aromatic scrubland of the Mediterranean. And it features notes such as lavender, thyme, and a touch of woody oak moss. Oh, and then I have Eau de Jour. It's basically uh, a, a blend of citruses of the highest quality, uh, such as lemon, bergamot, and cl clary sage. Uh, and some woods as well. So check this one out. While making this video, I actually realized that I'm missing one and that is called Noir de Mai, which is a velvety scent that features an opulent aroma of May Rose and is enhanced by dark wood. Um, so I don't know what to do about that, but I guess I don't have the entire collection. I have nine out of 10. 
But beyond all those fragrances, the beauty line also includes body creams, face oils, and highlighters. And the cool thing, I also think that all fragrances can be set in a refillable glass bottle or a bottle sprayed or a pendant and all of them come plated in 18 karat gold so that's being said let me know if you have experience with veronica by what's your favorite i'm curious about your opinions down here and thank you for joining me today on exploring the captivating story behind veronica by and i'll see you in the next one